I'm glad to present to you my book which is finally is ready. So the story behind this book has two main rational reasons why I wrote the book with this intriguing name Extracting the Future from the Present. Uh, so the first reason is to communicate my reasoning about various disciplines uh, which allow us to view from a wide perspective and observe in the present specific patterns that form a picture of future events. And the second reason was to save my memory and thoughts from the brain's limit storage capacity. Uh, okay, now I have to mention, this book is dangerously explosive, provocative and uh, outlandish and many times it's totally senseless and insane. However, it will probably disintegrate your beliefs in small pieces and will consolidate you in a new shape to rethink the present and consciously prepare you for the future scenarios. Okay, in detail the book is about connecting trends and behavior into realistic future scenarios. It also provides solutions for the present issues. It also has some subjective experience that I use as a base for my arguments and the conclusion. Uh, the book has a surprisingly insight about the future of humans and the world. As, for example, how many people today know that despite armed conflicts or global warming or seemingly other harmful effects that humans actually today live in a utopian second phase, which is a half a way to its extermination in an enclosed civilization cycle. And uh, I'm sure this is scary, but this is not a science fiction scenario and uh, it's an inevitable outcome if people will not change their uh, mindset and behavior. The reasoning of this book uh, should be a warning prediction we all not wish to be true or been able to materialize. Okay, well, my first reason to write the book was related to sharing my arguments and conclusion to the public, uh, wide critic and awareness. The second reason to write the book was to capture the information the brain cannot preserve. You see, the brain has limited capacity of storing information, or memory as usually people call it. In order for the brain to record and preserve a new memory, it typically will require to forget or override the older memory. For instance, try to recall what you ate on lunch exactly on this day for three years ago, or five years ago, or even ten. Or are you able to remember the first time when you began to walk? or even most important and peculiar moments in life when you the first time encountered yourself in the mirror. Just think about what you've been thinking in right that moment when you realize that the person in the mirror is not a stranger, but you. For certainty to claim all the people suffer from memory storage shortages and uh, is impossible task to recall detailed information from the past events, thoughts or feelings. Sometimes uh, brain's limited storage capacity is uh, solved by external informational carriers as uh, daily personal diaries which will record the circumstances, emotion and thoughts in a specific day in the past. In my case the book is about uh, my present thoughts and reasoning which waited to get written down to get a stable anchor before it would be overwritten by other information. So, two main reasons why this book is here to be published. First, our arguments and conclusion from a general interdisciplinary perspective, which make possible to form future outcomes. And the second is due to the brain limit storage capacity. Um, oh yeah, the book is all in digital format and the reason for this choice you will find out at the end of the book as well. You can buy the book on Amazon or by clicking in the link in the description below. That's it. Feel free to share, subscribe for the next updates and see you around.